What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about uh, the next part of the Season 1 update for Black Ops Cold War. As you all know, we just got the first part of the Season update, or Season 1 update on January the 14th, just a few days ago. And now we know the next part is going to be coming out on February the 4th. We've also got a little bit of information on what's going to be coming out with this. Before I get into all the details, if you would like to read over this yourself, it will be linked down in the description. Of course, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you have, take a second to subscribe to the channel. If you are subscribed, uh, click the notification button in the top right corner of the channel. That way you know when everything goes live. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. The one really good thing about this is we know we're going to get another map with uh, the update coming out February the 4th. And that's going to be a map from Black Ops 2, and that map is Express. I'm sure most of you remember this if you did play Black Ops 2. Um, that was a fun map, kind of the subway system in there, kind of some vertical spots, some lower spots. Uh, the train itself you could go through, it, it, or the subway itself you could go through, or the subway carts. It, it is a pretty neat map, and I really did enjoy it. And there is a lot of rumors now talking about how many maps we're going to get in all. And there's a, a rumor of eight total remastered maps from past Black Ops games. So it looks like we'll continue to get a good steady flow of maps uh, that were in previous games. And I know a lot of people out there may still play Call of Duty from uh, you know back in the day like myself. And some of you may not have played you know some of these older CODs. Some of these maps may be completely new to you. So uh, hopefully we'll get some of these maps out pretty quickly. That way we'll get a larger map pool for 6v6. Some other things they talked about. Of course, the Sniper's only mosh pit in the season. Endurance mode uh, is another thing they're going to bring out this season. Some more things added to the Onslaught maps. Of course, we know we just got Raid added into the Onslaught map. They will be adding Express into that Onslaught map rotation on the for the PlayStation exclusive content on February the 4th. Also, the new Zombies map, Firebase Z, will be coming out February the 4th as well. They said in addition to those things, they're going to do double uh, weapon XP you know, double normal, normal double XP, things like that throughout the season. I'm sure they'll probably do some tier XP again before the, you know, end of season one. And one thing that did not talk about exactly when it's going to come out, but it is listed in their season one kind of season one reloaded, what it's, what it's called, kind of their roadmap to finish out season one. That is league play. That is shown on the, uh, the roadmap itself, but no specific date just yet. That is one thing that I'm really looking forward to. League play now, if you played Call of Duty back in Black Ops 2, League play in Black Ops 2 is probably one of the best uh, kind of League play systems they had. Last year, we didn't have a League play system. They just had a, a pro league kind of map rotation that you can play, but it wasn't like League play where you go in, you get ranked, you know, season to season, that kind of thing. Uh, Black Ops 2 had a, a League play, which was absolutely phenomenal. I'm not sure why they've never just copy and pasted that to every Call of Duty ever because that's how good the League play was. Uh, that long ago, if you can really think about it, that's kind of crazy that it was that good uh, back when Black Ops 2 was out. But there is no specific date just yet on league play. The league play we had kind of in Black Ops 4 was not as good as the, what we had in Black Ops 2, in my opinion. Even though it wasn't bad, it was still not really the ranking system was not my favorite. And of course, this brings a lot of hope for people that play normal uh, you know, just regular games, uh, you know, in, in, in core modes like TDM, DOM, that kind of thing. Hopefully, uh, a lot of people are thinking this will calm down the skill-based matchmaking. Now, that was the thing back in Black Ops 2. A lot of people were complaining about the, uh, the not really the skill-based matchmaking, of course, was a thing, but that wasn't really talked about a lot. Then a lot of people were just talking about the the each individual game you played seemed to be like a, a real struggle. You know, everybody was really even evenly matched. And in Black Ops 2, they made league play and kind of, calmed it down in, in the normal you know game modes and i think a lot of people are hoping the same thing's going to happen here that you know they'll leave the strict skill-based matchmaking for league play which it should be because you know you want that to be very competitive and then just for the normal core modes they'll kind of calm down the skill-based matchmaking we'll have to wait and see uh you know when it comes out hopefully we'll get some more information about it very soon but anyway guys let me comment with your thoughts are you excited about the rest of the kind of season one uh, reloaded. Of course, like I said, that will be coming out on February the 4th. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time.